Well, let's start with the captain. First half, were you in trouble? Well, obviously we were one in down, so obviously it was, uh, we were a bit in trouble. Uh, I think uh, the last 15 minutes of the first half we dominated, we created chances, we scored the goal uh, before half time, and obviously I think in the second half we had more chances than them. Obviously the goal came at a very important time, but did you have things you had to address and change at half time? Yes, uh, we knew that uh, we didn't start very well, that uh, we couldn't uh, cope with the pressure and, and as a consequence we conceded the goal and then it's true that uh, we went, uh, we went uh, for the game, we went to, to score a goal, we got it uh, just before half time so that, uh, that was important and then I think uh, the ambition from the team was to, to win the game in the second half. Did you bring Jorginho slightly deeper in, in order to help you to do that, to, con to get control? Well, Jorginho is very important in the way in the way we play. We we need him uh, to be to be in control of the game, to touch the ball, to pass forward. And uh, as soon as we found him uh, with more space, uh, we were able to to find uh, spaces with uh, with Ruben, with N'Golo, and we could create chances with uh, when they gave us spaces. And Ruben, was that the key to getting you into the game because you started to have a lot more space and a lot more ball? Yeah, I think Jorginho was really good in his second half. Um, dictating the play and you know when he you know sucks players in that gives me and N'Golo space to you know turn and run at defence or you know get a pass off um, so it really helped in the, in the second half you know Jorginho getting on the ball. Did you have a sense that you were in control then? Yeah definitely second half I thought we had most of the possession and in, co in, tr in control of the game uh, I think they had a few counter attacks um, that we had to you know address on the pitch uh, but you know oh, all in all, I think second half we had most of the ball and you know was a threat. How did you enjoy it? It was a thunderous atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, really loud. No, I really enjoyed it to be a part of a, you know a semi-final, an occasion like this. Fantastic stadium, fantastic you know competition. So you know hopefully we, you know, we can do well at Stamford Bridge. Um, uh, we look forward to it. Did you uh, have any inkling of what it? could be like here you know there's several of the other young England players who are experiencing it in Germany had you spoken to any of them yeah Andreas Christensen was over here and he you know said he's played here so he said it's a great stadium and I, uh, I agreed with him so when I saw it so no fantastic atmosphere and yeah like I said look to take it to Stamford Bridge and where do you stand overall in the tie captain sorry where do you stand now in the tie overall do you think well we score we score an away goal that uh, it's always important but uh, you know today was only the the first step to 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 get a good result, and then every everything is going to be decided uh, in Stamford Bridge uh, next Thursday. So obviously we know that uh, that we have to win uh, to win the game, and because they are a dangerous team, they play with a lot of intensity. So it's the last step before the final. Uh, uh, the job we started in September, uh, we have to finish it uh, all together on Thursday, and hopefully we can we can bring our fans to Baku. Thank you very much. Thank you.